was What Are You Doing New Year's Eve, written by Frank Loster and played by lots of people, pretty much everybody. And I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, uh, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a uh, tutorial of everything I just played. And at the very end, I'll do a slow motion, close-up, play along you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, just like this one, check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now the strum, the strum on this is pretty darn simple. I'm gonna just go to the C here. Most of the time, all I did was a slow, deliberate, emphasis is on the downs, and Now you notice I, I kind of stopped it on the first down. I usually do do that. That is to say, as long as you pause, that gives the first down stroke uh, some more emphasis without having to make it louder. It's just... I played the whole thing with my thumb, I think. But you can play any way you like. It works. Okay, now as far as the chord transitions, take note, there are two pages in the song sheet. The second page is in the same key, but is remarkably simpler. It really is. Some of the more difficult chords I changed for easier chords. Lots of the sort of segue chords I just left out. It's a much simpler version. So if you're a beginner or you just don't want to work that hard, then go to the second page. You can still play it along with me or along with somebody playing the first page. You really can because it's in the same key. Um, but if you love the song and you want to play it with all the panache possible, then go, you know, maybe learn the second page and then try to build up to the first. That you could do. All right, I'm talking from the first page now, though. So from the intro, I'm starting with a C. I'm using my ring finger on that C, all right? And then I drop the F sharp diminished seventh. That's what that is. I'm barring with the index finger. I keep my ring finger exactly where it is, bar with my index, and drop my middle finger, too. Now I'm gonna keep my ring finger right there. I mean, normally you'd probably do that, but I already have my ring finger there, so I'm just gonna leave it there for the F minor, and then I'm gonna slide it up just one fret. Stay, still stays stuck to the ukulele on the same string, just slide it up one fret to the G7, and then a, a pattern repeating throughout the song. You play it, I don't know, uh, several times uh, through the song. What I'm doing, again, the ring finger is kind of the stability point. It starts out with a C, then you got that F sharp diminished seventh, and then kind of a second position F. You drop an F, but you leave the ring finger right there. And then you finally slide it down to the G7. That's what that is, just one stroke for each one. That's what that is. Maybe it's much too... Now you have to pick them all up and drop the E. Early in the game, now my middle finger is on the right string at least, so you just slide it down two frets. Ah, but I thought I, easiest chord in the song of course, ask you just the same. The way I do this, you got an F, now I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna flatten out my index finger to bar the first fret and drop two fingers for that F minor sixth. What are you doing, New Year? And these, sorry, don't actually have any connection to each other, so you keep moving them around. Keep moving your fingers around. New Year's. And here's that set of four chords. Like I said, that pattern. Eve. Wonder whose arms will hold you good and tight. When it's exactly 12 o'clock at night. Welcoming in the new year. And the last line here is different. In the second verse, leading into the bridge, it's different. Here we go. New Year's Eve. So 
uh, the way I do this, I use a second position G, a closed G, right? This would be an open G. This is closed and kind of the second position. Second position meaning it's on its way up, right? Like, those are all Gs. This is the second one as you're climbing up the neck. So, new, and then just drop your pinky to slide your E string up one. That's it. E, and then on to a B and hang. Now from the B, all you're gonna do is move your fingers over one string to get that E minor. Maybe I'm crazy to suppose. So I got, I got that here, then my index finger just goes over to the fourth string. And then I drop my middle finger on the bottom three strings. One, two, three. And once again, I'd ever be the one you chose. Out of a thousand invitations you receive. So, out of, out of a thousand now from here I'm going to slide down to the G, invitations, and now these two fingers are pretty much in the right position, they're just on the wrong strings, they're going to move over to the F sharp diminished, U, and now I'm going to lay my index finger flat and form a, an F there, but it's an F sharp because I'm up a fret, Re, C, and that's it. it Except the only difference now, uh, well, excuse me, no, that's that's it for the song, except in the outro, outro verse, the final, final, oh, actually, you know what, I'll tell you what I did in the instrumentals, too. So, uh, so the third verse is exactly like the second, exactly, exactly, except you don't go the, the B, because you're not going into the bridge, so it's, and then two instrumental verses, and here we go, here's the way I'm doing it. Panache. I do the E, but I'm not singing, so I gotta make the strings sing. I'm bouncing it a little bit. Right? I'm, I mean, obviously I'm going down to a D sharp, but I didn't write it in. It's just a bounce. And then the regular part of the, the regular line of the song. You can add the, you can make the timing a little jazzier if you want. Do make chord, uh, change the chord on the up string. I think I bounced on the D minor too. And then second time I did a little playing. I just played on the A string. You can go. Do it however you like. I did. And then from that E, I did two positions up. Those are all, oh, actually, excuse me. I did E7. That's what I did. I changed it to E7. So that's an E7. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I did play it wrong. That's an E7. And so is that. Right, so I'm doing an E first, and then on the fourth fret, a D7 shape is an E7 on the on that fret, and then on the seventh fret, a B7 is actually an E7. So that's the way I did it. And then I finished up exactly like I did with the verse. again and then the only difference with the outro verse verse three is at the end of the next to the last line you hang uh let's see how does it go Pause a long time if you want, because it's the last line coming. And I like the way that slides. In other words, the G 
keep it stuck so that you can hear it sliding. And just bar the seventh fret, that's a G sixth. And then leave your finger in that shape, but keep it so that it rings. See, so you can hear the slide up to the 12th fret for that C6. And that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna play in slow motion, close up on my chord change in hand, straight from the intro. You know what? It's a short song and there's not that much duplication. I think I'm gonna play clear through the whole song. Slow motion, close up, like I said, on my chord changing hand. Here goes. Five, six, slow, and... Wednesday, bye.